All right, hey guys, Brett here from FB Excel. I wanted to record a quick video to show you a pretty useful strategy, especially when you're first getting used to ad tactics. And it's basically using the autopilot bid optimization dashboard alongside the bid override table. And the way we're gonna use the bid override table is put on here our highest performing keywords. And the reason is for that is so we basically don't want to let the rules have kind of full authority to change the bids for these targets, at least at first until you really get used to how the rules work and the critical parameters, things like that. Uh, so this is just a really good kind of best practice, again, when you're first getting acclimated. It'll also illustrate in this video how to actually populate the bid override table with data. So that's another purpose of this video. So, all right, let's get started. I've got a bulk file here already synced and you can see I haven't ran any rules. So the bid column is blank right now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and actually I'll add a few targets here to the bid override table first. So to do that and find our best performers, we're just gonna come up here, click enable targets. All right, and you can see it's sorted by orders. You could sort it by sales if you wanted as well. Uh, but in order to bring over the target information on the bid override table, you're just going to select the value here in column A, hit control C, go over to the bid override table. And within this column J that says override, you're just gonna hit control shift V and that pastes the values. I think on Mac, it might be command or something like that. but. So because these are targets, you just choose target here from the drop down. You can also put on here campaigns, portfolios, uh, ASIN. Similarly, you just need to uh, paste in you know this this value here. But the best use case for the bid right table is honestly kind of what I'm showing you here. What you're going to use target, and if you just double click here, it kind of puts that all the way down. So those are the two kind of inputs you need. Uh, then you just click on this button here. All right, so after that populates, you can see you've got all your information here. You can kind of click and check out the placement data. You've got your budgets, you've got modifier information. There's also more details related to the campaign there. So a lot of good, useful information here. Uh, where we're gonna to wanna to focus though is this blue column. So this is the actual override bid uh, bid column and what you're going to want to do potentially is look at the CPC. Uh, this is of all the placements here in red, the placement for like top of search. If you want to look at that CPC, that would be over here. Um, but if you have multi keyword campaigns, it's going to be a little bit, uh, it's going to be a little bit screwy to use your placement metrics for what I'm about to show you. So in that case, you might, uh, just use here the target level CPCs, which again, that's here. So what I'm going to suggest is at least for your top, say 10 to 20% of targets, you don't let the bid rules really impact these a lot. If anything, you may want to actually get a little more aggressive than what you're currently bidding at. So this is your original base bid for these targets. Uh, you can either use this value uh, or this CPC value, or you could do kind of an if rule if you know how to write formulas. Uh, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to say equals this times 1.05. That's just a, a uh, let's see, I typed that in wrong. So it's going to be equals this times 1.05. Just a 5% increase. Uh, based on our current bid, okay? So I'm gonna just, I'll go ahead and actually convert that to values too. So I'm just gonna highlight that, control C, control V, and then that way the next time I import a bulk file, I can kind of see where I was. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and run on autopilot. So I just hop back here, hit the blue button. Now this is gonna execute all of these rules on all three of our ad type sheets. I'm gonna hit yes. All right, and once you get the confirmation, hit okay. You should be able to go back now and uh, you know see the, the rule number here under column E, and then you'll see that the bids have been changed. All right, so now what we wanna do is basically 
override just these targets now with these kind of more refined uh, bids that are more in line with what we're currently running. And again, this is mainly due to the fact that if we don't do this, uh, and this is like our first time using ad tactics, there's a potential to lose a lot of impressions on these targets that are giving you the majority of your orders. So uh, the strategy that we're trying to deploy is let say uh, 80% of our targets that may not be uh, may not be performing as well as you know the top 20%. Let autopilot really manage those, reduce wasted ad spend on the bleeders, recoup some budget there. Uh, and then we're kind of systematically right now, just because we, we bumped all these up by 5%, we're kind of redistributing that new found budget into these targets to scale up a little bit. It's not going to make a huge difference, but uh, the big thing we want to keep in mind is not to impact these targets right off the bat drastically because that can uh, kind of make your account go in the wrong direction. So that's what we're trying to prevent against. All right. So to do this, all we need to do is once we've set this bid override table up like this, come up here into fine tuning, override autopilot bids. And I just grabbed these bids from the sponsor product sheet. So I'm just going to hit this one here. And I'll hit yes. All right, and then you'll get a prompt here, hit okay. All right, so a quick way to kind of verify that all of these bids changed how we wanted, let's go over to our bid of red table. We're just gonna actually grab these values again. We're gonna go to labs tab and under target quick sort, control shift V, and then we can show on list. This is going to show us from our log file just to these rows. So I'm going to hit yes. All right. And if we sort this now Z to A, we should see basically all of these numbers. And let me I'll just put it here in the tag column for now. Control Shift V. And you can see all of these are in fact lining up. So Basically what that did is we ran autopilot is kind of a phase one that ran all of these rules on all of our enabled targets, but then we fine tuned our bulk file bids just for these targets that we have on the video right table. So uh, it's kind of a one, two punch and it really allows you to be a little more conservative again when you're first getting acclimated. Uh, you could also probably envision you can devise some pretty elaborate formulas uh, in this blue column for um, specific base bids. Uh, you can also do inline editing from the bid override table. This demo file doesn't have rest of search, but yours will have rest of search as well. Uh, but basically the way you do inline editing, and that's for placement modifiers, campaign budgets. We're actually even working on bid strategy here soon. Um, so if you see this underlined, it means you can edit it. But basically you just end up changing that value and then going back up to fine tuning and then either updating your placement modifiers or your campaign budgets. That's how you would swap that out. And it basically just takes the value that you put into this table and swaps the applicable row in the bulk file for that entity. So that's how that works. And again, once you've kind of overrode your bids from the bid override table, you can just come up here and export your file and all of the bids will be optimized based on your settings. So, so that's pretty much it for this video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers.